join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. Imagine a moment in history where the sheer power of the human voice defied distance, not through screaming across a chasm, but through delicate wires and unseen forces. Picture the dawn of sound traveling in invisible currents, amplified, carried, and resurrected at the other end, an almost magical phenomenon. This is the world where breakthroughs in communication began, and where the microphone, our silent and indispensable bridge between voices and listeners, found its truest pioneer. You might expect that the story centers around Thomas Edison or Alexander Graham Bell, names forever entwined with early audio devices. Indeed, in the late 1800s, innovators like Emil Berliner and David Edward Hughes made key strides. Berliner patented a carbon disc or carbon button microphone in 1877, roughly four years after Bell's telephone invention, drastically improving the quality and practicality of voice transmission while Hughes had previously demonstrated a working loose-contact carbon microphone in England. Even so, these inventions were rooted in the era's technological limitations. But the microphone's most profound reinvention did not happen in Queen Victoria's reign. It occurred in the modern era, when precision, affordability, and mass production became key. That reinvention was the electric microphone, and its co-inventor was James Edward Maceo West a black American scientist whose work transformed microphones forever. Far from a footnote, West's contribution is the cornerstone of nearly every microphone used today, from smartphones and hearing aids to cameras and baby monitors. Born in 1931 in rural Virginia, West's early spark a curiosity, opened radios, electric shocks, always opening things to see how they worked, set the stage for something far greater. His path led him to Temple University, and then to Bell Laboratories, where he teamed up with Gerhard Sessler in 1960 to chase the dream of crafting a highly sensitive, compact, cost-effective microphone. By 1962, their invention, the electric microphone, was realized, and by 1964, it was formally patented, swiftly becoming ubiquitous in everyday devices by 1968. What made West and Sessler's invention so revolutionary wasn't just its improved performance, but the simplicity and low cost that allowed industrial scale adoption. Unlike earlier technologies that were fragile, expensive, or limited in clarity, the electric microphone was dependable, tiny, and versatile. As a result, today's world and 90% of microphones around the globe are built on West's design. Let's not diminish the chapters before West, though. Sir Charles Wheatstone coined the term microphone in 1827 to describe a purely acoustic device that amplified faint sounds. It wasn't electrical, but it planted the linguistic seed. Robert Hooke's earlier lover's telephone in 1665, using stretched wire and cups, hinted at sounds transmission over distance. Antonio Musi in 1856 even created a dynamic microphone using a coil moving in a magnetic field though not widely credited, it was an early electric sound transducer. Yet despite these early innovators, the modern microphone's identity is anchored in West's work. Beyond invention, West's life carries stories of resilience. Born in his grandfather's home because segregation barred him from the hospital, he persevered in science, choosing academia and invention when his family hoped otherwise. At Bell, he co-founded initiatives such as ABLE Association of Black Laboratory Employees, advocated for minority scientists, and later taught at Johns Hopkins University, fostering future generations of diverse talent. Online communities often underscore his legacy. One post summarizes, the electric microphone, the modern microphone used in 90% of devices, invented by James West from Farmville, Virginia. Another bluntly notes, Ben West's electric microphone is where modern mic tech lives, not Edison's carbon models. So yes, the real inventor of the microphone, defined by its presence in nearly every piece of audio tech today, is indisputably this black American pioneer, James West. James West's story is more than a technical achievement. It's a testament to innovation through persistence, ingenuity in the face of inequality, and the quiet transformation of everyday life. 
Without his electric microphone, speech via distance would still be cumbersome and bulky, not seamless. Think of your smartphone camera, mass grab Zoom calls, or voice-activated assistants. His invention liberates our voices.